Realty X2 Public Records Comparables. First, you'll want to enter your subject property. I'm going to keep it simple and just enter that subject property by address. And once I've entered my subject, I can go ahead and click on the search button and it'll take me directly to a property detail page for my subject. The second tab that's available to me is comparables. If I click on that tab, they are going to bring up a list of comps for me automatically. They're going to plot my subject property on a map. That's the little red icon that you see there. And everything blue, all those blue icons, are my potential comps. These have been generated automatically based upon my comparable preferences. You can modify your preferences at any time. Simply click on the Modify Preferences button and that pops open a window containing a bunch of criteria options for you. The number of comps you'd like to return, the distance from the subject, do you want to use just tax data, just MLS data, or both, get into the year built, the beds and baths, the listing price. You've got tons of options available for you. Just go through that and choose your comparable criteria. If you click Save and Submit, it will carry that criteria over to the next time you run comps. And if you just click Submit, it'll use it for this time only. Your screen will then be refreshed to show you the comps that are now available to you based upon the changes that you made, if any. And by default, all these properties are selected for you. So the system is recognizing all these properties as comps. You're going to take some time and review this list of properties. You'll uncheck any properties that you do not want to utilize as comps. Once you have your final list of comps determined, simply click on the Generate Comps Report button and they're going to automatically generate that comp report for you. That report is going to include a bunch of things. Number one, again that map up at the top. Our subject property is the red one and those blue icons surrounding it are, are the comps. We will see a recap of our search criteria We'll see some summary statistics. Sale price, beds, baths, square footage. They're going to break that stuff down by high, low, median, and average. And then we will see our classic side-by-side -side report, which is perfect for what we came here to do, which is compare data. Our subject property will be listed first, followed by our first three comps. And since they're in this side-by-side -side format, it's very, very easy to compare one property to the next. If you want to see more comps, simply click the forward arrow and you're always going to see that subject property first followed by three comps. If you want to go back and review one you already saw, just click on that back arrow. Down on the bottom right hand side of the screen you have the option to print, save, and email and anytime you select either of those options, print, save, or email, you will have the ability to customize what you're printing, saving, or emailing. Just click that customize link and anything that's checked will be included. Anything that's unchecked will not be included. If you want to go back and change your comps, that's okay. Simply click the edit report button and that will take us back to that list of comps. We can go ahead and check some more or uncheck some more if we need to. And of course, we can always modify our preferences as well.